Hey Fixers! In this video we are going to talk about the regular expression methods so um, in Python. So we are um, using the Python re package. So you can just type in import re and use the Python message for regular expressions. So and there are two types of skills you need to master in order to become a regular expression pro. And the first type of skill is like how to create your own regular expressions. So um, how to create the patterns which you would like to match in the text and change in the text and the other type is to know about all the to like how to connect these patterns to the concrete tool at hand and this tool is the um, repackage in our case so how can we basically so for example say we have a certain pattern which we want to match in the text then we can like either match this pattern we can replace this pattern we can um, Spe define certain behavior or what the pattern matching engine should do with this pattern and so on so we can do a lot like on top of just writing patterns so reg regular expression mastery is not only mastery of writing good patterns that match parts of the text you would like to have matched but also um, embedding it and connecting it to the programming language you are using and in our case this will be python okay so i will just by example go over the different methods and it's like a quick overview method i have detailed videos and tutorials about um, each method later but yeah we will now we will just have this overview video where i just give you a quick run over all methods by example so you don't need to understand everything but um, it's just like just lean back take your coffee and uh, relax and enjoy the video Okay, say we have this text, which is part of Romeo and Juliet. Um, so we have like Lady Capulet, she's, so, um, she's uh, uh, speaking something. Then we have like Capulet, which is probably uh, the guy um, or the man of uh, Capulet, the husband of Capulet and of Lady Capulet. And he says something and so on. Okay, so we have this conversation. It's part of the regular, of the Romeo and Juliet text and oftentimes you have like you want to do some text analysis on these types of text for example if you are working for a big search engine you have a lot of those texts and you want to find stuff in this text so it's very relevant for many um, um, popular applications or basically even many companies that have built um, business models worth billions of dollars okay so how can we let's let's start how can we find all occurrences where the pattern all occurrences in the text that match the pattern she okay so it's like the simplest possible way um, um, is to use the find all method and you can already see in the tooltip here that the find all method um, it requires that, uh, that you define a pattern and a string and then there's an optional flex argument and yeah we will not go into detail in, uh, in detail into the flex argument because it's more advanced uh, thing but um, just know that you can like customize the behavior of your regular expression engine a bit by defining certain flags. Okay, but for now we are just defining the pattern which you want to find in a string and then just give the, res give the result. So basically the string, the substring in our string that matches the pattern. So say we want to match the pattern she in our text and we just type this in as we would read this. So we want, want to find all occurrences of the pattern she in our text good and it found it found uh, four occurrences so uh, here's the first one she 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 so we have uh, three occurrences and then somewhere in the text there should be the uh, fourth occurrence um, okay I don't find it yeah, she is code okay here's the fourth uh, occurrence okay so this is like the uh, basic usage of the find all method the find all method returns a list of strings okay so this can be um, useful in many uh, instances so like formally the find all method uh, on a given pattern on a given string checks if the string matches the pattern and returns all occurrences of the matched pattern as a list of strings good then coming to the second uh, method which is the re.search met me method so re.search and you can already see the, like the definition of the search method is it checks uh, if the string matches the regex pattern like the previous uh, read.findall method but with a twist so it returns only the first match as a match object 
And the match object is just that. It's an object that stores meta information about the match, such as the matching position and the matched substring. Okay, so how does that look like in an example? Um, so say we, we execute the same function uh, the sa on the same arguments now. Um, different functions, same argument. So we have the pattern she, very simple pattern uh, in our given text. And yeah, we want to like return the first occurrence or the first match of the pattern. Then it will just give us a match object and you see it with this strange looking um, uh, representation. So and the match object contains important information such as the matched position. And here you can see what is the match position? It's 33. So it's a 30 th uh, 33 33rd uh, match of the uh, uh, character in our string. So if you would count this, like um, this uh, position, this is the first position, so zero, position zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, until this one should be the um, like position 33. And this would be the and then it would span until uh, it would, it would uh, span until position 36. So three characters long. So we have 34, 30, 35, 36. So this is like the first match. It returns us the um, co the concrete position in the text. And this is also the advantage to the find all method. So it does not find all occurrences, the search function, uh, the search me method, but it finds the position in the text and therefore we can do the further processing. For example, we can find all occurrences of say a string like Bitcoin in a text. And then if we found the string, we can return the immediate environment, for example, around the string. We can basically, we can, we can uh, use it as, as, a, as, a, uh, as a bot that, that crawls text, gives us some relevant information and then tells us, gives us some results. So in many cases, if you run a program, you actually need to know the position. And uh, the find all method is often not so useful as you see here. I mean, it's not so useful to have like four times the word she. It just tells you the number of matches basically in this example. Of course, if you have more complicated regular expressions, then you also get more complicated um, output here. But still in many cases, so in my experience, yeah. you will use the, um, uh, method re.search much more often than the method re.find all. Good, okay, so then going to the next method we want to discuss, it's a method. So basically we can also like skip the print <laughs> statement for now. Uh, so we have the method re.match. Again, we use the simplest possible um, uh, combination of pattern the same so that you can really see the difference between those. And um, the method the re.match method tries to match any string prefix, okay? So it only matches in the prefix and the formal definition is re.match checks if any string prefix matches the regex pattern. And if so, then it returns the matched object. So what does it mean prefix? It means that it only checks whether our text starts with our, <laughs> sorry, with our um, uh, search pattern. And basically it doesn't start with our search pattern. It starts with a new line character, which is not uh, visible here. Uh, and then the second, like the second character is the uh, character L, A, D, Y, and so on. So we don't have the matching um, uh, prefix. So therefore the result is an empty object, which will not be printed to the shell in this case. Okay. So we have like, uh, um, so nothing happens basically. If you would match, for example, Say we match the new line character and then the character combination lady. So this is actually the part of our, um, t this is actually the prefix of our text. So this should match something. And you see, okay, the first five characters actually match this pattern. Okay, so in this case, uh, so now you have understood like the, mo the three most important functions. The first is a find all function. It returns just a list of, um, uh, matching substrings. The search method gives us the first match anywhere in the text and also the positions. And the match function, it only matches the prefix. And this is often a mistake that people use intuitively. You would use the match function to match any pattern in the text. And then you will find out, oh, it, it, there was no match. And you would conclude that the pattern didn't match anywhere in the text, which, which is actually not the case because you should have used the search method and uh, not the match method. So this can cause some nasty bugs in your code. And uh, yeah, you should know about this um, detail. Good, then the next method we, w we are going to check is the full match method. And um, it's similar to the match method which with one distinction. And the distinction is that 
as the name suggests, it tries to perform a full match. So your text actually should match the whole thing. And of course, the word she does not match the whole string. So what can we do about this? I mean, one approach would be to use um, like an arbitrary number of characters. Then we have the word she. Then we have an arbitrary number of characters. So we use the asterisk operator. This is more on an advanced regex. And you can just, I mean, if you don't know them, then just don't care. Uh, it's you will you will learn about them in detail later. But this is a this is simply this dot operator operator basically or this dot regex actually tells us that it tries to match an arbitrary character. And the asterisk operator tells us that we have an arbitrary number of the preceding regular expression. So we have in total these two together tell us we have an arbitrary number of characters which we want to match. And then uh, we have like the three uh, characters she. Then again we have an arbitrary number of characters. And then we have the text. And if we would just like finish now, we actually wouldn't match anything because uh, the problem is that the dot um, regular expression just it matches everything except a new line character. <laughs> Okay, so this is a detail which you should know. So um, actually, if you do, if you would do the same thing here, but we wanted to match the new line character, then we would have to define the flex argument with the read dot um, read dot mu um, uh, dot all flag. Okay, so this would be uh, a way around, and now you can see that we have actually matched the whole text, so we could successfully full match uh, the given text. In this example, and it spans from the zero position to the uh, position uh, 346. <laughs> okay, this is my son now. He also wants to participate. Good. Uh, moving forward, uh, we have the uh, next method, the redot split method, and it starts with um, the character. So we search for the character new line, and on the given text. And this is now a, the first method that is slightly different than the other methods because because all the methods we have looked at, uh, specifically the find all, search, match, and full match methods, they just um, provided us a means to match parts of the text or the whole te um, text. But now we want to actually um, split the text on all occurrences of a given match. So say we want to, we have the pattern, a simple pattern like a new line character, then we split the text along all occurrences of the new line character. So each time we um, we find a new line character, which is uh, like in this example, the first line, then the second line. E after each line, we have a new line character. So basically in the end here. So here we have new line, new line, new line. So we would just use this new line character. This would be a match each time. And on each match, we would like divide a string and um, put the whole line um, into one one substring basically and it would return then the whole text basically line by line and each line is one string and here of course we have the empty string because uh, we have the empty string before the new line character okay so the first character is basically a new line so you can see it like this we have the new line character then we have which starts the our text then we have a new line character so then we are in the second line and uh, so on yeah so therefore like the result, resulting um, list of strings consists of the uh, empty string. Then we have Lady Capulet, which is the whole line. Um, then the next line is, um, I, I lack the day she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. So this would be the third line and so on. Okay. So this is a very useful function. It's similar to the string split function, but uh, more powerful because you can define arbitrarily regular expressions here to match parts of the text. Okay, and then the last function which we want, which I want to show you, is the redot sub function. It's also very powerful, and this function now actually has three basic arguments. The first argument is still the pattern we want to match, say the pattern she. The second argument is um, the replacement or sub substitute text, and uh, the replacement could be, for example, um, Julia. Okay, now we replace all occurrences of um, she with the <coughs> um, string Julia, and um, we do it in our given text. And this then, you can see the output. It, uh, so we have still Lady Capulet, new line. So it's not nicely formatted now, but it still works. I like the day, Julia's dead, Julia's dead, Julia's dead. So all occurrences of she we replaced with the string Julia. Okay, and this is uh, therefore a very powerful method and you will use it very often. And, what, and you can even use it to remove parts of the text. So say we want to 
um, remove all occurrences of she simply then we would just replace it with the empty string very powerful uh, method okay and you can see i like the day empty string stat that and so on okay so this would just r uh, remove certain characters and actually the regular expression package has no separate remove function as far as i know so it only has a substitute function so if you want to remove matching substrings then you need to use the re.sub method okay that's it thanks for listening and for taking the time these 15 minutes to uh, listen to this tutorial and yeah i will dive into detail into all uh, in detail in all into all the of these functions and yeah thanks for listening again bye